Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Terraria. As you guys may notice, I've rearranged the chest and stuff underneath my house, and I've actually organized them all based on uh, what's in the chest. Also, while you're gone, I chopped down a lot of trees and planted some new ones, and built a stadium for the battle I am going to have with the Eye of Cthulhu. I think the stadium is pretty cool. I uh, actually spent probably the past hour or so carefully plotting and putting it together. It's pretty big, um, and I think it'll be a really great place to fight the eye, which I um, have stored in one of my chests somewhere. Uh, as you can see, I have my gold bow. I actually created that with some of the gold we had mined earlier, and I have a bunch of Jester's Arrows that we had, I guess, found in pots everywhere. Um, where is that? Ah, oh, here it is. So here's a suspicious looking eye we have. Um, my game plan for fighting him is I'm going to go it up in here and summon him, hoping that he, uh, that he won't kill us. I'm going to mainly use the gold bow, although I have some shuriken and throwing knives. They don't do quite as much damage, so I'm actually probably going to use those first, though, and then switch to the gold bow once he gets more difficult. So guys, wish me luck. Since this is hardcore, if I die, that might be the end of the series, so... Let's keep our fingers crossed. Alright, where is he at? I'm waiting for him. Come on. Hopefully he can get in here. He can he can go through the walls, yeah. Okay, this is pretty uh I mean he's not a really tough boss, it's just a matter of it's kind of uh Oh, it is nice that the shurikens kill the uh Oh, what are these things? His little babies. Yeah, because this is just absolutely destroying him I think well I should take that back it's not really really to throw it destroying him I mean it takes not that much damage a piece but it's they just are a lot of them oh he hit me but he doesn't do that much damage and we just recollected about 30 of the shurikens that we'd thrown So yeah guys, um, I'm actually, I think we're doing actually pretty well. I mean, we ha he has a lot of health left, of course, uh, so that could be an issue. I don't know if, do, is there, like, do the shurikens sometimes break upon being dropped, or? So I'm just going back and collecting all those. It looks like they do break because my... I've collected most of the ones that I have thrown, and the total amount of my inventory is pretty low. Yeah, but he's not seeming to do... He's really not that much of a threat, actually. Like, he hasn't... He's only hit us once this whole time, and the shurikens might be enough to fully defeat him. So that's good. And if so, that means we probably were way too cautious in uh, in how long we waited to take him on. That's okay, though. I mean, ultimately, uh, it's better safe than sorry, especially when you're playing uh, this version of the game. But since since he uh, is in his more difficult form now, I'm gonna start taking him on with these jester's arrows do a significant amount of damage to him, about 20 damage, so that's four times as much as a, uh, uh, what is it called, as those, um, oh, well there we go, we just defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, so I'm going to go back through and collect all these shurikens real quick, and, uh, yeah, that was actually really surprisingly easy. I figured it'd be more difficult given the fact that uh, you know he's—I mean—he's not that tough of a boss, but he still has a lot to him. So uh, let's see what we got out of that. We can make some demonite bars. Got some corrupt seeds as well. Oh, we can make the lights bane. So we'll do that. And. Uh, 
store some of this stuff. Let's see. I don't think you can make anything with just eight of them, can you? Oh, I can make a demon bow. Sweet. The zombies are trying to get in and kill us. That's never any good. And where do I have my weapons in here? As you can see, it's I organized it based on piece by piece. So this sword would go here, I believe. Because this is like the wooden stuff and the copper stuff. That's a copper pickaxe. I actually accidentally made an extra one of those a long time ago. So that's why um, I probably won't need that with me. And this... Well, yeah, actually, guys, I'm going to pause the recording since me <laughs> going through my inventory and stuff isn't, like, the most exciting thing ever. And I'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Alright, guys, I am back, and I do not want to talk to him. So, I think, um, actually, the next thing we are going to do, now that we have the Lightsbane and a, a Demon Bow, is travel out here to the uh, to the corruption. I'm a little bit nervous about the corruption, especially because of chasms. Chasms are pretty dangerous, but um, I figure it's a good thing to go to. Uh, it's the next step in the game, and we're not going to find enough gold to make gold armor anytime soon. So this just seems the, the logical direction to go. If you notice, there's a lot more. Um, a lot more trees than there were before is because I actually planted a ton of them. I, essentially, I just ran backwards and put plopped acorns down. A lot of which didn't, you know, make it. But I'm gonna collect these cacti and let's see if we can handle this guy. Oh yeah, they're actually not that difficult to kill. And to whatever degree I can, I'm going to collect, uh, or at least kick back this, uh, corruption. I don't want to get, like, deep into, well, maybe, I don't know. I'm just being a little cautious. Um, yeah, I don't want to, like, go deep into enemy territory only to, uh, to die, you know. So I'm actually going to collect some of these trees. Well, I guess it's fine. Just be really cautious and watch out for these guys. There's a lot of them. And they're really aggressive. I really don't want to die. I also had really weird deja vu. Like, wow, really weird deja vu. I don't know if you guys ever have that. Um, pretty cool, weird experience. Um... Trying to think what the best way to explore this chasm is with the oh dear, I'm getting some laggage. I wow, okay. Uh, did you guys just see that? Ouch, that's it's like a painful laggage. Um, yikes. Well, I don't know if it's something with the corruption or my computer. Um, I'm gonna pause the recording and I'll be right back. Well, well, actually. If, okay, if it lags again, I'm going to pause the recording. At least if it lags again, like, anytime soon. I know what I'll do. I think this is a smart little idea. So, the chasms are again quite deadly so I'm just gonna dig down and uh, by doing that I can parallel the chasm without running the risk of dying a terrible terrible death I don't know what you guys think about that I keep forgetting I can just scroll through that I'm working on it but it takes some time so yeah this is a much safer way to get to the bottom of the chat chasms are just very dangerous um, I know I have the the oh 
gosh, what's it called? I'm gonna put these over here. I don't think that will even go through that. Hey, we'll need. We'll actually need. Um, can I break through it with a gold pickaxe? I think I can't. Wow. Hmm. Well, this whole plan might not even work then. Have to just throw caution to the wind and actually. God, there's just a lot of them spawning. So many of these guys. Well guys, uh, sorry for the lag, I'm just going to call an episode here. Sorry about that.